when I was about 10, I came out to my parents that I was gay. And how did that go for you? Uh. <laughs> I wanted to be a dress designer. And I used to sit in class and draw the most amazing outfits. I promise you, Valentina, all those people, they wouldn't have come near my designs. I don't believe I'm brave, stubborn, stupid sometimes, um, motivated by fear for what can go wrong. It wasn't a fight that anyone wanted to champion. It was the fight that nobody really wanted to know about. It's no coincidence that Zaki Ahmad was the man who stood up and said, I'm alive with HIV. In 1990, even doctors believed that you had six months left to live from point of diagnosis. And I thought I was going to die. Uh, I'm still here. I told my friends and comrades, so I didn't, I didn't hide it. And so it was easy to find support and I never had unsafe sex since then. The thing that was difficult at that time was that the prices of the medicines were so expensive that no one could afford it. All of us recognized that there was a need to do something. And when we formed the Treatment Action Campaign, I decided not to take antiretrovirals, not because I didn't believe it didn't work, because I believed it worked. And because I believed that they should be available to everyone, free at the point when you're ill. The day Madiba put on this HIV t-shirt when he visited Kailicha Site C clinic, the day that he put that t-shirt on, we had won an ally of such enormous stature. At that moment, I realized that I could take my pulse. I think that the struggle of the Treatment Action Campaign, the struggle of tens of thousands of people in South Africa meant that people across the world could get access to generic medicines that have saved millions of lives and will continue to save millions of lives. Zaki Ahmad was born to be an activist. There are people out there who are not going to agree with Zaki's sentiment. There are people out there who may not agree with his lifestyle, but you cannot but respect what he did. Nothing angers me like injustice, but I don't stay angry because you can't struggle and win if you're angry.